I understand the next round of uh, oil and gas exploration license uh, bidding will be this month. Maybe you can give us an indication how much interest you've actually seen uh, for this round. We have attracted so, so many companies have shown interest. Almost 45 companies so far have shown interest and uh, it's going to be very competitive. And um, we, so we, we are looking for new, new players to come in. Uh, to give probably different offers, you know, we, we have all the big players uh, in our country, so we are looking also to see if we can have different offer from different players, you know. So uh, it's going to be on 25th of October, it's just next week, and uh, all the preparations are underway and uh, everything is in a good shape. So hopefully that is going to be uh, another milestone in our guest industry in, uh, in the country. And we hope for everything is going to be, um, since it's a roadshow, uh, the process is just going to begin on 25th and then up to next year, April, uh, for those serious bidders, then they will proceed with the, the process, tender processes. Exploration is a capital intensive venture, be it oil or gas. How much do you think it will cost to actually have everything up and running? You know, these, all these projects, they are done by uh, private companies. And um, as a government, we are, we are owning an uh, interest in every project. We own uh, some interest, some stake. Uh, so uh, the risk of doing explorations and the investment is done by foreign companies, multinationals. So, um, so far, it's, it's, it's estimated uh, to drill one well is cost up to $100 million. Uh, so you can imagine how many wells has to be drilled, you know. Uh, you know, exploration of gas is different from other, uh, like minerals, uh, because especially the deep sea exploration is very expensive uh, because uh, the science, the technology behind it is also uh, is, it's very expensive technology and high tech. Talking of the infrastructure that is also required in uh, exploration, uh, liquid uh, natural gas plant is also one of the major ones that is also required in that. I know there are two companies uh, locally in Tanzania that are planning to, to do that, but maybe as a government you can give us an indication. Are you also planning to have one uh, as a government? For LNG, this is going to be uh, privately invested. Yeah, um, so uh, at the moment, some companies like Statoil, BG, they are doing some feasibility studies to see uh, the viability of the project. So our aim is to use the gas for our internal or domestic uh, use uh, to generate power to domestic uh, LPG and and other percent, big percent, big portion of the gas will be also exported. We have signed a contract with Kenya government to supply them electricity, 1,000 megawatt. Um, so um, the pipeline is under construction, and we hope the construction will be finished uh, as is scheduled. And uh, that will provide a huge um, uh, support in our plans for uh, power generations. And uh, probably it will also help the region uh, with power. From the oil and gas uh, discoveries that we've had in Tanzania, uh, we also have discoveries in Kenya of oil and also other minerals. And also in Uganda, we have uh, oil discoveries. Now, looking at the East African bloc, what kind of synergies can we expect going forward? What will it mean for the trading bloc? Trust me, uh, East Africa is flying now. This is the right time for East Africa to, 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 to see the massive changes. Um, I look for the next decade to be a really transformational in terms of economy and resources. Um, East Africa is going to be uh, the new powerhouse in the region. Uh, I don't know if Dar es Salaam is going to be the new hub uh, powerhouse, I don't know. But that's what I see from the, the potential discoveries of natural resources. And uh, the most important thing for us is how we manage these resources from the policy and legal framework and from the political um, perspective. Because if we don't have stable and political stability, it will be a total uh, mess. And finally, taking it back to Tanzania, what kind of economic growth projections would you have with the discovery and also the trickle-down effect uh, to the economy? With this discoveries of, of natural gas, I'm sure it's a game changer. It's a game changer and it's going to change everything. 
Uh, I see Tanzania growing power, uh, strong in the region. I see Tanzania transform from a, a low income to middle income country uh, by 2025. Once you have a reliable source of electricity, you have um, a good uh, local content policy to optimize all these resources and the opportunity that will be brought out by the, uh, the gas and oil and gas industry. Uh, good, uh, good plans, uh, strategic plans. So with all this initiative that the, the president is trying to, to, to bring in, uh, you can see a big transformation in terms of economy and social development, infrastructure development.